Hi everyone, in this video I would like to share to you how we can make a self-driving robot especially for line following robots. And this project is taken from a final project in our graduate uh, level course deep learning fall 2020 in National Xiaotong University in Taiwan. Okay, before that, we need to uh, understand first the problem statement of this task, okay? So given two line tracks, uh, the first track you can see in the left here, and this is the second track, we need to make the robots to autonomously follow its line track. So for the first track, it will start from this position, it will follow this line until it finish in the starting point. Okay, and for the track 2, uh, the robot starts from this point and keep following this line until it finishes in this uh, position. So I think uh, the most challenging uh, task is in this part. Okay, and for the input sensor, we have a camera of the robot. Uh, we can take a color image. Uh, it's RGB image and then for the hardware we can use Jetson TX2 uh, it has it has a good embedded GPU from Nvidia so we can apply like a deep learning model to to do this task okay and yeah this Jetson TX2 is connected to the robots uh, I mean the rotor of the robots okay we go first for the first approach and this is like almost all of the groups use this approach which is deep learning best approach. Yeah, because the name of this course is deep learning, so we are recommended to uh, use deep learning best approach. We can tackle this task uh, by using standard classifications. Okay, so the input image is uh, like, like this, and this is the line track of the robot, uh, three example. Okay, and then the output, we need to uh, do classification to output the class of rotation degree uh, in this case we have 18 class classes okay for example we have like class 1 class 2 class 3 in the class 1 for the rotation degree for example 0 0.6 uh, this is for example minus 0 0.6 and it should be 0 because it's it is a go forward go ahead here okay and again total we have 18 classes and the data set is provided by the teaching assistant okay so we can just uh, build our classifier model like this classifier okay this is the input image input image and we have uh, output class 18 class okay and yeah we can just take the arc mark to get the prediction class and we will uh, make the robots to uh, rotate based on this uh, class predictions of the rotation degree. This is from the approach one, and we have another approach, approach two, which is segmentation approach, and we use uh, traditional image processing approach because we think that this line of the robot is very uh, easy to s to be segmented, right? Because this is obvious compared to the uh, background. So we can just segment uh, these lines of the robots by using uh, simple hue segmentations. Uh, how we can do that, I will try to uh, explain in the next slide. Okay, so we can do segmentation first of the line here. Okay, and after that, we can calculate the, uh, for example, we can calculate the target point here. And we can estimate the rotation degree, this, this rotation degree, from this robot location to this target point. Okay, for example, for this uh, road, it will be this rotation degree. Okay, for the input, it's same. Uh, I miss from the camera and for the output, it's also similar rotation degree, but it continues. Okay, because yeah, we estimate toward this target point by using segmentation approach. Okay, this is the detail how we can segment the line. First, we can uh, convert our RGB image into uh, HSV image, okay? And after that, we can apply uh, a mask by using this range value. Because we have uh, blue and also yellow here, we can make two masks 
The first mask is for blue. Okay, uh, we have range of the hue is 100 until 140. And this is the range for saturations and also for a value here. And a similar one, we apply for the yellow color. And the yellow color range for the hue uh, value here is 10 until uh, 50. And also you can see in the similar thing in the S and also in the V value here. Okay, and after we have these two masks, we can apply this mask into the input image. And finally, we will have this segmented line here, the white color here. And after that, we can uh, get the center of mass of this uh, white area here, segmented here. One of the approaches that we can use is by using the connected component, and it is already provided by the OpenCV. We can just use uh, the API of the OpenCV. And we can get this uh, center of mass here, but unfortunately, the center of mass here is outside the line of the robot here. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to project this uh, target point here to this position. We can do that by uh, by doing this. So we can crop this image, okay, by using this delta up, delta down here. We can get this image. And again, we apply the similar connected component analysis to get this connected component. And with this connected component, we have a statistic value of this connected component, which is uh, one of them is uh, the center of mass. So we can get the renewed uh, as x axis here as our target point. And finally, we'll have uh, this target point. And the last step is, yeah, just calculate the rotation degree by using simple trigonometric formula. Okay, I will try to redraw for the easier illustrations. For example, if we have the target point here, so we will make uh, this rotation degree like this, okay? This is the Y, this is the X. We can calculate the X, right? We can also calculate the Y. And it should be start from this uh, middle of the bottom image here the robot position. Okay. And then to calculate this rotation degree, we can just using like this formula. Oh, sorry, X divided by Y. Yeah, this is very simple approach. And surprisingly, it gives very good result. And we can see later in the video how our robot can finish the given tracks perfectly. Okay, before we take a look to the result of our algorithm, uh, if you want to uh, play with our code and also our data set you can download in our GitHub repository, you can just go to the video descriptions. Uh, I will provide the link of our repository there. Okay, and finally, we will try to take a look uh, the result uh, by comparing using this uh, segmentation approach by using this image processing and also by using the deep learning uh, best approach. Okay, this is the result of the predictions. Okay, uh, we compare the deep learning and also the image processing approach. Okay, the uh, green line here is the predictions of the image processing by using segmentation approach. And from the red line here is the predictions of the deep learning. And because we have only limited data set and, and also limited time, so the deep learning model cannot predict very good here. It's like uh, predict on the right and it's the deviation is too high here. Okay, but for the image processing approach here and the prediction is, I think it's very robust here. It's very good. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, here we can also see, oh, both of them give a very good predictions. Okay, let's see. Oh, this is the segmentation approach. This is the deep learning. Oh, the deep learning go to the left, right, left, right. Oh, that's not good for the deep learning. Okay. And let's see for the strike uh, road here. Yeah, this deep learning also give noisy predictions go to the left and right, left and right. But from the segmentation approach, it's very stable. It gives a very good prediction here. 
Okay, next I will show you the result of our robots after we apply this uh, algorithm. How our robot can uh, follow all the tracks perfectly. But uh, I will try to uh, spirit into the next video, uh, I guess. Okay, then see you in the next video.